Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Okay. I told you we've got family in town. It is my mom's 70th birthday tomorrow. So I'm actually heading out for dinner tonight with my aunt and my mom and my sis. But I wanted to make sure I got on and did my Wednesday Facebook Live. So we're going to party with Perfectly Plaid. Yes? Ooh, Corey's making lentil soup. Yum. Okay, are you ready? Now I've got all the bits ready. Yes, my bits are ready, people. And I'm going to tell you your measurements as we go because I'm not going to be doing my cutting and scoring tonight because I need to keep this thing moving so I am ready to go out for dinner. Yes? Okay. <clears throat> are you ready? Here we go. Hello there. Hi, Chris. Hi, everybody. Okay, so a little bit weird of a get up here we got. This is a piece of shaded spruce cardstock. I will tell mom happy birthday. Hi, Alicia. I'll tell her, yay. Oh, you guys are so cute. So four and a quarter by five and a half, yes? Okay, I'm gonna give like thumbs up to people. Hey, Janice, I saw your message. Woo, woo, hi, Kim. So four and a quarter by five and a half, kind of like, you know, a regular old card, but minus like the other half. Does that make sense? Oh, yes. Happy Thanksgiving to my American friends. Okay, next piece. This is actually thick Whisper White cardstock. Um, this piece here, and you can see here, it's three and a half inches wide. No, you can't see because my ruler's not showing there, but it's three and a half inches wide. And then it's the regular old 11 inches long, okay? Yes, scored at five and a half. Anyone else seeing what I'm doing here? Okay, you can only watch five minutes. I'll promise I'll, and I'll put it on YouTube too, okay? Next thing we've got is I've got a piece of that perfectly plaid. This is our gorgeous designer series paper. It's got gold foil in it, yes. And so this one is three and a half inches as well. So three and a half by five and a half so that he slaps right on the cover of that. You seeing? Okay, anyone seeing the bits come together here? Then I have got two pieces of gold foil. Hello, T-Bay. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Sandy. Thank you. These guys are a half inch by five and a half, okay? So very quickly, I'll say it one more time. Four inches by five and a quarter, sorry, I lied. Four inches by five and a half inches. Three and a half inches by 11 inches, scored at five and a half. Three and a half inches by five and a half inches, yes. A half inch each by five and a half, matching pieces, yes largest stitched shape circle in whisper white and the largest layering circle in gold foil yes you love traditional plaid totally okay hi diane from new york okay people so let's start to put this stuff together so it's not complicated it's actually a really easy card kind of gives us some fun we actually have a few more bits that are over here and i'll kind of show them to you as we go this one's a one and a quarter inch piece wide of the what's it called i can't even remember the name of it right now gold foil that stuff that thing yes and then look what i did well i didn't actually i did it before so i went in whoop, whoop, punch yes to the end now the great part is this is actually a one inch wide piece of whisper white and i did the exact same thing hi casey make the sound effect it totally helps your punching it always improves it but you can see why i did that because then look what i can do Ching. yes it's like giving yourself that perfect little gold foil border okay so these are all my bits that I pre-did so that you weren't watching me for two and a half hours and apparently I just spat there and that's disgusting I apologize okay hi Megan so first thing we're gonna do let's take this thick whisper white let's glue the bejeez out of it Doo -doo. just like that stick that in the middle you love watching me I love having you watch and then you know what don't put it down because it was not the first thing you were supposed to do I got so excited that I forgot leave that with the sticky side up because it doesn't actually matter yet now we're kind of winging it tonight I know we've all seen where this goes with me there isn't actually a prepared card the Card came together in my head and so we're gonna see <laughs> in my head yes we'll see how well that goes for us now right now I'm having a hard time there we go seeing my eyes are messing with me. So I'm going to leave a little bit of a shaded spruce um, border. Does that make sense to you peeps? And then we're just, foop, gluing that on, okay? Hi, Heather. Hi, Kim. Okay, Heather, I had to show my, I'm not going to lie, Heather's going to giggle. Um, 
I was showing my grade sixes today how you take a selfie over the age of 40. <laughs> now, for those of you, you guys are like, what? Okay, number one, we probably just shouldn't is what I've decided. I should not take selfies now. Um, but we were, when we were in Vegas, we were playing and we were giggling about the fact that, you know, when you take your selfie and you're like, what are those wrinkles? Because in your head, you still look 18. Yes. It's cutting out and fuzzy. Oh no. Are you guys all cutting out and fuzzy? I hope you're not. Okay. So, um, as, so we're taking these photos and we're saying, oh gosh, like this is horrible because nothing looks good anymore. Yes. All of a sudden there's wrinkles that were not there before. And hi, Natalie. And so we were kind of saying, this is kind of lame. So, okay. Are you seeing what I'm doing now? Do I need to explain this to you? I'm gluing this down. So we already stuck the sticky stuff on the back of there. Okay. Okay. So what we realized, Erica and I were goofing around and we realized if you lean back and I'm talking like kind of hanging backwards over the floor and you take your selfie gravity kicks in and your wrinkles all fall backwards yes get that okay there we go whoop look at choo choo are you seeing pretty card it went a bit crazy with puff paint and burnt the paper yeah didn't know it was a fire hazard did you love anyway so you must try that as you sit in a chair you tip backwards i'm breaking up hang on i'm gonna see what i can close Okay, tell me how it's going. I just closed my computer. Joey, what have you got running? What have you got running? Okay, can you take your phone off, honey, for a minute? Thank you. Sorry, I'm telling family to cut down on um, Wi-Fi wi stuff. Okay, anyway, yes, it does work perfectly, does it not? I don't know, and you're seriously. And Catherine, I thought that we... <laughs> I thought that the breaking out was supposed to stop. How am I 44 and still breaking out? I'm like, come on. Okay, so now we're snailing that here. Okay, Megan says, just take it from above, less chins. Yes, well, taking it above and leaning back core, hells to the yeah. I had no, we had no double chins. We had no wrinkles. I was like, this is awesome. So that is how I'm taking photos from now on. Okay, so are you seeing what I'm doing? I'm just giving everything a good schloop yes now this is going to bother me i love that corey just corrected her spelling because that is hysterical okay so i'm just going to grab my trimmer sorry because oh shoot that little tiny bit of whisper white that was showing is going to make me loopy okay so we've got that yes all pretty and trimmed now this is the part where it's gonna get a little hairy because I haven't actually really played this part out in my head. So what we're gonna start with is I'm going to shaded spruce, the top part of this sentence, and I'm going to cherry cobbler the bottom. What are the chances? Do you think we can pull this? So this is how I do it. Now I know we can mask it, absolutely, or you can pull an ant and you can wing it, okay? So we're just doot, 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 doot getting him in green, did it. Okay, now we're coming over here. This is what lazy people do. So people who aren't lazy sometimes get a piece of tape or a piece of paper and they mask off letters, yes? And, oh, am I doing that in the right color? Yeah, I am, I just scared myself. Okay, it looks it looked like it was green for a second. You like that? Way better now? Good, we just had to get my kids off. Okay, so I did cherry cobbler there. Now just to save this, cause I can see one little part of my uh, G, got a bit of cherry cobbler. We're going to go like that. Okay, we're going <sighs> to... Yeah, heavy breathing, I know. On my white so that it stays, for lack of a better word, moist, okay? Now, I'm trying to stamp this straight. Everybody hold your breath. There. <sighs> More like talent. I don't know about talented, but that was just kind of crazy. There we go. Woo, woo, check it out. <laughs> look at that are you impressed everybody clap good okay I hope you all held your breath when I told you to now the next thing we're gonna do <coughs> we need my whisper white paper good here's my piece that I was originally using and schmucked out so I'm gonna pull off you thought it was your old eyes okay so here we are going to come in and we're going to ink this one up in cherry copper and then we're gonna stamp it Ta -da. Okay, and then we're going to come over here and we are going to clean it right away. Karen is clapping. Thank you, Karen. 
Now, I don't think he, was he super pink before? I don't think so. So why don't you see this? I think that we can, I'm going to show you this, but I feel like I'm, I'm going to have to go clean it right after. So this is our new, what's he called? It's like a new cleaning tool. Okay. And so if you have issues about your photopolymer being like, you know, heavily stained and all nasty and red. Okay. So see what I'm doing? I'm just cleaning it up. Hi, Carrie. Okay. Now I'm going to sprint away because I have to wash this off with water. So wait there. Don't run away. Talk to each other. Da, 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 da. Oh shoot. I forgot a paper towel. And I ran that. There it is. Okay, so all I was doing there was I was running it under water. We don't want to leave that stuff on our photopolymer stamps, but I want you to see, do you see how much cleaner that is? So if you've got issues with that red staining you get from any of your browns or your pinks or your reds, this is the absolute tool for you. Sure, it looks hideous, but it's awesome. So this is our called our stamp cleaning pad, okay? It says to avoid contact with your mouth, don't swallow it, yes? Good thing to know. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my cherry cobbler away. We're going to do the same thing, but I don't have to do that same cleaning because greens don't seem to stain. Hello, Carmen. I I, I don't know, Cora, someone to do it, and so I'm so paranoid now that I always run around and do it. I'm like, ah, oh, rinse it off. It's like I think it's going to eat the stamp like immediately. But that's just me being a worry word. Okay, so now we've got same thing in shaded spruce. Okay, now the last one I'm going to do, uh, we'll punch these two out first. And I don't even know if I'm using all three. We haven't actually got a plan. No, so no, nib no, Karen, please refrain from nibbling on the, okay? <laughs> do I just giggle at those? I'm like, someone had to have done it at some point for them to feel that there was a need to give us a warning. And that scares me. Okay, one of those. Only when it's so bad. Do you hate that? You're like, I don't even know if I have ink on this thing because it's so stained that I couldn't tell you. Okay, we're gonna come in here. We're sticking to the plaid. I'm loving the plaid. Okay, now the last one we're gonna do, and I can't resist, I'm sorry, is we're gonna go and do a little bit of heat embossing. Probably not what I should be doing when I'm in a hurry, but whatever, who cares? Do, 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 do. Rub it up. Uh, stamp it, we need Versamark. You love this set? I love this set. It's fuzzy and pausing again. Sorry. Is it everyone's getting it? Super poopy. Um, Joe, yeah. go tell everyone upstairs to turn off their phones, please. They're killing mom's Facebook Live. Do you want me to Just tell everybody up there. Okay, sorry. This is what you do when you live in a house with, you know, all these peeps, and then you've got visitors, and so everyone's phones and computers are on. And it doesn't work super well for the internet. It can't handle it. Okay, next thing we're gonna do. Come over here. It's working fine for you. Isn't that funny that it does it for some people and not for others? Okay, so come in here. Maybe it's a Facebook issue. That'd be nice. Maybe if it wasn't me. It's probably my issue, not gonna lie. Power outages. Yeah, I didn't get it. My husband was on a call last night and he got nailed. Like he had calls all night. Uh, Sean's a fireman. And so he was working and we got hit with a pretty hardcore windstorm here last night. I think he said he had 13 calls last night alone. Like it was just a go, go, go. Okay, so we did our embossing. Okay, we're gonna heat gun it. Don't just go and stick that on because it's not gonna look really pretty. My voice wasn't in sync. Okay, thank you, Jojo. Thank you, man. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, so we're gonna grab the heat gun. And magic of television, you ready? Is it auto-focusing weird again? I feel like it had we've done so much better since we moved to the black background. Go and gold. Go and gold. Go and gold. Go and gold. Okay, so the plaid is definitely not as striking when you do it with um, embossing powder, but that's okay. Because you don't get the same kind of, you know, like the same gradient kind of definition that we got. But I feel like it will still work. Okay, so now we need that punch again. Did I, I got my bits. Come in here. Hello, Jill Ray. It could be out of focus too, though. You know what I'm thinking is because I'm having to, with my eyes, I have to pull stuff up to kind of see it when I'm punching it. So I definitely do move things higher on a card like this. 
Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two bits here, okay? Keep, don't lose your bits, keep your bits, people. And I'm assuming that this is all dry and lovely. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna slap some snail on it. Ex well, some snail, excessive amounts of snail. Jill Ray. And then we're gonna come in here and we already kind of got this guy all set up so that they match each other. It's perfect because I've got the same um, angle, got the same angle of the dangle people on that part that we did with uh, the punch, okay? What about using the delicate? Oh, you totally could. Look at Sharon go. That delicata. Yeah, absolutely. Don't laugh. The only reason I'm not using it, Sharon, is because we're out of it now. And so I'm like, okay, I'm not going to use it in my video because people can't get it and then they get mad. So I just avoided it. But absolutely, I think that would look killer. Okay, let's come in here. Chop that off. Do you see how well that worked? Yeah, like easy. Beautiful. God, I love this trimmer. Um... And we're gonna come in here because I apparently did not do a good enough job there. Can you stick? Yeah, that's stuck. Okay, now the only thing I do want, I do want to do, I do do, is we want it, it just finish that score line. So I already had that uh, gold piece scored, and I'll show you where. So my gold piece, no, don't be sorry. Absolutely. So this section here, and I'm just gonna double check, I believe I did it four inches. I did. Okay, so you're just a little bit over four inches, this part, before I scored it. Okay, so now what we're going to do here, and I would recommend uh, using your tear and tape for this, okay? So we're going to take, for me, because I don't have my tear and tape sitting here next to me, is I'm actually just going to use my uh, old fast fuse. I know some of you are gasping in horror. I'm still using it. I haven't run out yet. Okay, so we're going to take our fast fuse. We're going to come around the front of the card we're gonna keep I want to keep this low so we're gonna tuck it around the card there we go just like that okay so it's like a cute little flap now I do recommend now that you've got your flap use your bone folder to keep him kind of in place yes okay so now we got a couple other things is it too much I really feel like I want a piece this is my only piece left of this yes does anyone else feel the need to like use up bits? I get kind of excited. Okay, so we're gonna take this. Don't worry, I'll remove the tape from it. We won't leave the tape. It was just because it was the end of the roll. Um, or we could remove the tape if I actually had fingernails with which to do it. Ta-da, there we go. Okay. Got him. Now we're gonna come in here. I feel like I might want, do you think there's enough to do a bow? Should we try it? What if my bow is hideous? Okay, we're gonna go upside down because I can't tie bows right side up. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm weird. I have to tie bows upside down. Okay, we're gonna come in here. Okay, bow, you can do this. And if, it, if I can't do it on the first go, we're going to a knot because realistically, I don't think it's going to get better because the uh, length of ribbon I have is not super, come here you, don't go, don't go, long. Okay, just a sec. Do it. Okay, now we can. Oh, I think we did it. Look at that. Except now the bow looks like it's actually kind of upside down. So go figure. Maybe I could have done my bow the right way. Okay, I'm gonna pull you. You tie upside down too. Yeah, see? It's because great minds think like, actually, you know what? That's kind of a cute bow. He actually worked. See, it's the only, I, Heather, I agree. It's the only way the tails are correct. Okay, so now I feel like I'm kind of squooshing things in. This is getting a little bit tight, this card. Let's move you up. Okay, and we're going to, oh, oh, that's going to bother me. Does that bother anyone else? I can't handle it when there are bits of um, fray stuff coming off the ribbon. It really bothers me. It looks great. Okay, well, you have to tell me that because you're sweet. Okay, so we got that bow. We're going to come in here. I'm going to, this guy's going to get snailed down. Okay, this is what I, I'm feeling this. Not really feeling it. We're just lying to you and making it up as I go. Okay, snail it, da, da. stick it onto your gold layering circle. Do, 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 banish the phrase. I know we don't want phrase. Okay, now this one's gonna come up and we're gonna just, there you go. Yep, yep, that works, are we okay? You guys still okay with me? Perfect, ah, oh, there's Darlene, okay.
So now I feel like the gold should be put in the back because I don't love him as much because he doesn't show the same definition. Okay, so gold, we're gonna snail down, okay? Let's snail him. Hello, Julie. Snail that gold. Okay, is he center-ish? Ta -ta. And then in here, we're gonna kind of go, oh, I like that. There, there, there. Okay, we need dimensionals. Where are they? How many, look at this. This sheet, I am so satisfied lately with the fact that I am knocking off these dimensional sheets for my stamp stacks. There's like 28 sheets that are just, um, like the borders. It's fuzzy again. I, nobody's on the internet now, so it must be somehow on my end maybe like an internet. I can always tell because a bunch of you start dropping when it goes. Okay, so we're going to go like this. Hopefully when I finish and it actually uploads, it will be pretty and you'll be able to see it. Okay, and we'll do one little more. Oh, maybe I'll bring him down. I like that down actually. Balance you. There. Okay, so peeps, for those of you who were able to see the whole thing, there you go. Thank you so much for joining me for this one. And I know it was a bit of a short one in terms of like I had everything prepped for you, but I hope it gives you a little bit of an idea on how you could have a card open a little bit differently, okay? Anyway, so uh, what we've got there is if you've got your perfectly plaid, sorry, that's not it. You've got your perfectly plaid stamp set and then you've got your coordinating punch, yes? Okay, so I'm gonna put that there for a sec. We're gonna grab the catalog just so I can show you. Do, 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 do. There you go. So it is $41.25 for your perfectly plaid bundle, yes? You definitely wanna make sure that you add on. I'd get the wrapped in plaid designer series paper for sure for this one. But if you do get your bundle and you go to shopwithnorthshorestamper.com, I want you to use this host code. Today is November 27th. This is my mom's special, so this is going to go all the way through to tomorrow night, because her birthday is tomorrow. November the 28th at uh, 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow evening. Anyone who orders that perfectly plaid bundle, I'm going to order you the shaded spruce and gold ribbon, and I'm going to mail it up to you, okay? Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. I hope you had fun tonight. Um, and I will see you all again, I think on Friday. Okay. Bye.